Hey guys, I am Phantom here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick video tutorial on how to use Dolby Axon, which is a voiceover IP specifically for gaming. So um, the main feature that this does is everybody knows Dolby for their surround sound, and uh, basically what this does is it allows people to be um, to talk in actual surround sound. So if you're in game and your character is behind a person, they will hear your voice from behind a person. And if they're in front of you, you'll hear it in front, left, right, you'll hear it from the left or the right, depending on where they're standing. But the problem is this doesn't work for all games. What this this works for is only supported games, and I think you have to probably set it up. But I know uh, Unreal Tournament uses it, and then this Battlefield Heroes game uses it. But other than that, um, I'm not sure of any games that use it at the moment, but I bet you games will start using it as it gets more popular. Now, in order to get the application, you need to go to www.dolby. Oops, it's actually axon.dolby.com. And you let it load up a little bit. They'll have like an intro video showing the like how cool it can be and like what uh like how it you how it use that uh, it's used in game. They kind of make it look really cool, all flashy by using like in a dark room, making it look all futuristic, but um, if you want to watch the video, it's cool. It's like things like two minutes long, but other than that, I would just skip straight to the download. And what you do is going to pop up with the download. And uh, if you're using Mac, you're going to have to close and click the Mac one. I think the automatic one is Windows. So uh, you download the file, save it, run it, and it'll install the program. And while it's installing, you can uh, set up a username, your uh, give it your email, your passwords. You have to agree to the terms and conditions, and then. If you want to them to send information about uh, Dolby technology and games, you click that, and that'll probably send you a games list on uh, like which games support Dolby Axon. But if you're just going to use it for a regular VoIP, uh, like a free VoIP instead of having to run a server, um, then you don't really need to know what games because you're just going to be using it for regular chat. So you can do a captcha, and then you're going to click sign up. They'll send you a, uh, a confirmation email. You confirm your that like, that's your email, and then you can start using. Dolby Axon. So you start it up and it's going to look like this except you're not going to have any friends. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to users and add friends. You're going to search for people that you know and uh, you're going to keep adding them to your friends list and then you can invite them to different chats by double clicking on their name or you can come down here or uh, come up here and click on create permanent chat. And what a permanent chat does is a permanent chat will, uh, oops, just going to do this real fast, sorry. Um, a permanent chat is going to uh, basically have a chat online at all times. So let's say you're not online, you're not hosting it. If I'm not online and someone wants to be in this chat with other people, it'll be online for them to be uh, to chat in, even if I'm not online. So you click on that, and that'll be like a permanent chat that everyone can use. So you can have up to five of them per account so that's the only thing they don't have like completely unlimited you can have a bunch of different permanent chats going on but you can have up to five which is still pretty good considering so um yeah while I'm down here I'll show you guys groups what you can do is uh, if you go to it's uh, yeah right here edit groups you can type in the name of a group up here and um, it'll pop up once you hit add it'll show up in your list and it'll pop up down here and then what you do is you just drag and drop your friends into the group you want them to be in so I have like a server group and I'll probably have like a Guild Wars 2 group once I uh, can play Guild Wars 2 and uh, just all sorts of different groups that you can add in here and uh, that way you can just sort your friends out to who plays what and, and same idea if you want to invite someone to a permanent chat click their name and drag them into the permanent chat that you want them to be in and I'll show you that right now so I'll connect to mine as you can see my friend B's knees is on here and uh, if I were to talk to him right now I would have to move toward here and I would have to face him so that I'm directly talking to him because if I was up over here facing a different way because of the Dolby surround sound it would he would hear my voice like bouncing off the wall and coming in here so it'd be kind of quiet so uh, I would just, if you want a bunch of people, you can have like one person standing here facing, another person standing over here facing. So you can have a bunch of people facing one certain center point if you want it to be like a regular VoIP, which is what I'm going to use it for. And uh, you can promote people by, um, so like I can unpromote Bees Knees right now. So now he's just in an active member group, and I'm in a promoted group, which I can kick and promote people. These people can't. 
and I can uh, mute the user, I can kick them, I can nudge them if they're not being active and check if they're still at their computer and uh, yeah I can invite them to a voice chat, text chat and yeah pretty much and you can just block people from your group so I'm going to promote him again and uh, yeah so another thing that I really like about this is it also has a built in in the screen uh, chatting thing so let's say you just have a microphone you still want to talk to you guys you can be like I can talk to you here yeah, so uh, he'll be able to talk down there, and I don't necessarily have device to have a microphone. And sorry, my mouse just freaked out a little bit. Um, anyway, so they'll be able to talk down here. And uh, so another thing you can do is if you want to have rooms, like they have a Ventrilo, you're going to... One minute. There we go. Uh, you're going to go to Map, and you're going to divide it up. You can either split it in half, so there's two separate rooms. You can split it into... Where is it? Uh, like a special room so like certain you want to have a private conversation in here you make a room like that uh, divide map you can do it in the quarters so like right now I wouldn't be able to hear them talking because he's in this room so if I moved into their room I'd be able to hear them talking but for me I'm just gonna have like one big room where everyone can talk so I'll do it back to whole go back to facing him alright and uh, yeah that's pretty much the uh, permanent chat settings oh you can change the perspective into like isometric so it's kind of like you can see 3d where people are but I like to have it 2d just like a overhead kind of map because that makes more sense to me maybe it'll make more sense to an isometric but uh, you can hide people's names so you don't have to see who they are and uh, I like that you can hide their nodes so you can't tell which way they're facing so I for all I know he could be facing this way and I'd be talking to his back but I would actually keep that on just so you can actually talk to people more clearly and um, yeah so now we're gonna go back here and we're going to open up the tools and audio controls now um, like most VoIPs what this is gonna do is it's going to allow you to go to key bindings and uh, you can set a button like the left control for example to talk, push to talk and they have different channels which I haven't figured out how to add channels to chats yet but that could just be a regular chat I'm not sure so that's the uh, controls for chats. You can toggle your mute on and off your and your output on and off by setting hotkeys and you can toggle like divide maps. You can I guess press a button and it'll divide the map depending on what you want and get rid of it. So that's useful. Um, you can specify the inbound traffic port which I haven't really set this up yet and I haven't really had a full on conversation really. I had one with B's knees earlier and uh, you didn't really have to specify a port or anything it just kinda automatically did it so I didn't really have to set up anything there um, oh yeah here's the overlay thing the overlay thing is basically a pop-up message if you choose in-game overlays it'll pop up on the bottom down here or whatever uh, whatever you want to do um, like whatever you want it so you can move it around by like it down over in the corner basically what's gonna do is when um, someone comes online one of your friends or one of your friends chats you or something it's going to pop up something like this They'll have their little thing, their little name, and uh, you can change the colors of it, like the background color, you can change the text color and the border color. So right now it has like that black border, it has the uh, white name, text, and then the background's like a gray. You can change that to whatever you want so it's completely customizable. And um, uh, the program exception list, what this is, is um, you can add different programs. So say you have a game that you do not want to be interrupted in, uh, you just add that game to the exception list and then it won't pop up. So I'm just going to turn it off. Um, Pop-ups. Uh, yeah, this will just tell you where it is. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Your transparency. And uh, the linger time, how long it will stay up. So right now, if someone sent me something, it would pop up for four seconds in the bottom right corner. And it would be 85% opacity. So you'd be able to see it, but it wouldn't be completely see-through. You can set which things give you notifications and what the sound is going to be. So like... In Ventrilo, they have that little dun 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 when like you join into the game. They have their own special sounds, so you can uh, play around with those and turn off all sounds and uh, yeah, save it for different games, I guess, if you wanted. So whatever you really wanted to do. And uh, uh, what's this? This is the uh, audio controls, the output level. So basically, if your microphone is really loud, you want to turn this down. My microphone's kind of quiet because it's sound canceling, so you want to turn this up. And uh, output level just depends on how loud this is running. If it's really loud, you might want to turn this down. But in the middle, I found it to be perfect. 
and uh, audio options, just your options, and you, you have to select push to talk in here, or else the push to talk won't work, it'll just be broadcasting. So make sure you kind of do that first, set up your uh, key bindings button and make sure you click on push to talk. And the client, uh, you can have it start up when Windows starts and it'll have to be minimized to the tray and it'll animate the icon. And when you double click someone, it'll invite them to a voice chat. You can decide between either a text chat or a voice chat depending on what you want. And uh, chats are always on top, so like if I'm playing like this, oops, so yeah, if I go back to the chat here, go, okay, close that, um, turn this on, it'll always be on top, even if I'm here, I can just like move to the side, and uh, you can adjust the size, so I kind of like that, you can bring it small, and then you can just have it sitting over here, and I can be like, Google. Have it running around yeah and this will always be on top so I can just be doing stuff here and it'll show that and if you're playing a game you can kind of have this running on top which I would find annoying but hey you can do whatever you want you have your own preferences so uh, this has been a video tutorial on how to set up a Dolby Axon account and use the software that they have you download um, I hope you guys enjoy it, and if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and check out my website, which is www.iamphantom.net. Thanks, guys. Bye.